I've put together for you a quick office workout. Simple exercises you can do either on the spot or with minimal equipment. It can easily be done in a lunch break, a tea break, whenever you get the chance. The first thing we're going to do is some squats with the calf raise. Now, if you need to, hold onto your desk or a wall to give you some extra stability. If not, freestanding. So, different options. Level one is going to be our plain squat. This way. Hips, knees and feet are all aligned, facing forwards, nice and parallel. Our bottom is going right back and out, and our chest and our head is nice and lifted. This is your level one. Level two, we're going to go for a squat with the calf raise. So the same technique for the squat, is you come up, then into a calf raise, so rising up through the middle of our feet and back down again. To make it a little bit harder, you can add some arms here, or even take them up above your head as you do the calf raise. So I'm going to go for level two, which is your squat and plain calf raise. We're going to do 10 repetitions. So everything nice and aligned, off we go. So plain squat and up and a calf raise and down. Think about using your bottom the whole time, particularly at this point here as you squeeze up underneath. Calf raise and down. Squat and up. You can also increase the intensity with that one by going deeper into that squat. However low you go, just make sure your technique is correct. Nice parallel legs, bottom back and out. The next one I'm going to do is called a jack, a jumping jack. Again, I'll give you three different levels so you can pitch it as to where you're at. So the first level without any impact at all, we're gonna go for hands on hips. It's gonna be a half jack. So tapping out to the side and bring it back into center. Tap to side, back to center. That's your level one. You can take it up to level two by including arms. So it's still a half jack, but adding arms, a bit of coordination. Now level three, we're going to go for a full jack, which adds the jump in. So arms and legs are going at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna do level three, and we're gonna go for 10 repetitions on this one again. So 10 jacks, 10 half jacks, wherever your level is at. If you're doing the jumping version in particular, make sure everything is aligned, hips, knees and feet every single time you land. With the non-impact version, level one, make sure every time you're aligned, hips, knees and feet completely over each other to make sure there's no twisting going on. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five and six. Seven, nice and slow and steady. Eight, and nine, and 10. The next one we're going to do is side bend. So working our core, in particular, our side here. For this one, I'm going to use a resistance band. Hold towards the end of the band when you're doing this. If you'd like to make it harder over time, hold higher up the band, so you've got less to play with. We're gonna bend from side to side. It's gonna look like this. Now, your level of intensity, as I said, will change depending where on the band you're holding. So towards the end of the band is easier. Lower down the band is harder. So we're gonna go for 10 sets of side bends. So legs all facing forwards, nice and parallel. Relaxed, soft knee, good posture. So pulling up through the top of your head, pulling in with your core. Off we go. One. And two. So nice and slow and steady. Now I'm making sure I'm going directly side to side. Don't lean it back or forward because then you're at risk of not working your core well enough or putting too much strain on your lower spine. The next exercise we are going for are lunges. I'm gonna alternate my legs coming forward. Now to change the intensity of this one, hands can either go here on your hips, here by your ears, or for level three, up above your head. You can change the level of intensity depending on how far down you go into this lunge. So a level one lunge would be a shallow one. Level two would be a little bit deeper. And level three, all the way down. So a nice long stride and down here. If you're going for a level three, there should be a right angle here and a right angle on the back leg. And I want you to make sure as you go down, your knee does not bang on the floor. A, it might hurt your kneecap, but B, it takes the pressure off your legs and we're aiming to work these legs out, not take the pressure off. So that's your level three. Off we go with 10 lunges. So nice long stride. One. And two. The next exercise is going to be a press up. 
So we're working our chest area, our pecs, and also our upper arms, our biceps, and shoulders and back a little bit too. So my easier level one option, feet quite close by, and you're bending in and out this way. Level two, further away in this position. Level three, further away still. The next one I'm going to do with you is a plank. This is a full body workout with this one, with particular emphasis on your core. Now this can be done on the floor. It can be done against a wall or on a table, but best on the floor, I find. So I'm gonna give you three different options again. One option on your knees, one option on your feet, another option with the feet, but going up onto your hands. And this is your basic level. Level one, your starter level. Level two, we're going to take it back to go onto your feet. So hands and arms will stay where they are. You're going up onto your feet. This is level two. Level three, we're going up onto hands. And your plank position is here. We go one, two, three. Now the next exercise I'm going to do is a squat combination. Now every time we do a squat, I want you to think about your technique, being hips, knees and feet all aligned. Make sure nothing is twisting. We want to keep lovely technique, nice parallel legs. So the combination we're going to do is a narrow squat this way. And we're stepping out to do a wider squat. So every time, hips, knees and feet all aligned. And we're going to keep alternating legs. So another narrow one and a step out and a wider one. Now to change the intensity, you can change the depth of the squat. A shallow squat will be less of an intensity. Obviously, the deeper you go down, the harder it'll become. So pitch it at a level that's right for you. One, do a narrow squat, step out, and a wide squat. And narrow. So I'm going for middle of the road. I'm level two here. So a moderate level of squat. Now the last exercise we're going to do is a bicep curl. So our biceps are the front of the arm here. We're going to work that and we're going to use a resistance band to help us. To make it easier, you can hold the end of the band. The more you want to increase the intensity, the further up the band you can hold as we're doing the exercise. Again, to change the intensity, you can change the band that you're using. There are five different levels of resistance band with Melio. So pick the type that is right for you. We're going to think about our posture. We're going to think about pulling up nice and tall. We're going to think about engaging this core, shoulders back and down, relaxed, soft knees. We have our elbows tucked into our sides and we're going to be curling up this way. So you're just hinging from the elbow. The upper arm should not move. And as I say, you should feel it in your biceps, which is the front of your arm. We're going to do 10 repetitions. One. Nice and slow and controlled again. Two. 